What's up, mentorship freaks? It's a daily dose of the mentorship motivator dropping bombs. Today, we are talking about having tough conversations. Tough conversations. Now, you need to think about that those tough conversations and not don't freaking avoid them. You need to attack those tough situations, those tough conversations, those tough decisions even, but even though we're talking about conversations, but anything tough or that you think is gonna be difficult, don't avoid that shit. You need to attack those tough conversations head on as soon as possible. Because what's going to happen if you don't, you see something going on that needs to be addressed with someone that you need to address them personally, your your team leader or your management, or maybe it's a, co- a conversation you need to have with your team leader or management. You let it go. It's just going to, all you're doing is reinforcing poor performance or bad behavior or lack of, of effort or whatever. whatever. Whatever it is you need to have that conversation about, by not having it, you're reinforcing the fact that that's okay. So that's on you. That is on you. That's not on the person doing it. You're telling them it's okay by avoiding this tough conversation just because, you know, it, it comes down to this, the simple term of, as usual, don't be a little bitch. Go and attack those tough conversations. You need to, then when it comes down to actually having that conversation, you could do this in front of, it could be a group, it could be one-on-one, but help, it's up to you to guide Let's say it's a one-on-one for this, for the purpose of the rest of this video, but it could be done in a group. But it's up to you to guide that person through that tough conversation. It's up to you. And start, start. you need to start by agreeing and acknowledging that this is a tough conversation or this is a sensitive issue. Or I understand this is going to be hard to talk about. I don't want to have, I don't want to have to have this conversation, but it's needed. It couldn't wait any longer. It needed to be done right away. So I know it's going to be tough talking about this, but I need to because of whatever, whatever reason. And you're going to go into it, but it's because it's an important conversation to have. You're going to let them know and that you want to come to a common goal, a common resolution or something that you can agree on is what is what you need to kind of maneuver them through it and ease them into the tough conversation. You're going to attack it, but tactfully, right? And strategically, not like a, a not douche baggishly, if that's a freaking word. And then of course... Talk about what you need to talk about. What is the point of this conversation? And of course, at, let them know they're open to share their thoughts, their feelings, because a lot of times what it comes down to is someone just wants to be heard. They just want to be heard, even if it's not, even if it's something so simple, they just want to be heard. And then speaking of simple, when you're talk, when you're giving them whatever it is, feedback, or it's disciplinary, whatever it is, or you need to tell them a better way of doing something, whatever this tough conversation is you need to have, or something they're doing wrong, something they can't do, any, whatever it is. You need to make it clear and concise. And you also need to make it clear that they could be comfortable to speak to you about this topic, but make it clear about what is the topic that you're talking about. You want them to know that you understand their where they're coming from, their perspective. You don't have to agree with it, but you need to make them make it them feel safe and and let them know you understand where they're coming from, what direction they're coming from, what their thoughts are, and you have to make that known. And you want them to know that you understand it, and ju- don't just l- don't sit there while they're talking. And we know this; we go over this so many different in so many different instances. When someone's telling you something, you can't sit there in your head and start thinking, "All right, what's the comeback going to be? How, what, what am I going to come back?" You need to just sit there, shut the fuck up, and listen. Don't think of what your response is going to be, what your comments going to be, or you're going to miss the important words coming from them, the important communication, the important body language, and unspoken communication about their their eye contact, their body movements. And what are they not telling you? You're going to miss things they are telling you, but you're also going to miss things they're not telling you by not being able to read them. Because if you're sitting there focusing what you're going to say next, obviously you're not going to be able to focus on the important things like that. So don't start thinking of a comeback or how you're going to prove them wrong about what they're saying. Like openly fucking listen. Just shut it all down and listen to what they're saying. Don't think about how you're going to prove them wrong. wrong. Because it's impossible to do that if you are truly listening to them. You don't want to miss anything. And if you catch yourself... And I do, it happens to me a lot still to this day. Obviously, this is all shit that everyone needs to always constantly improve and consciously make an effort to do this stuff and with like intentionally. I'll be talking to someone, they'll be saying something and and it it could be bullshit. It could be something that doesn't make sense. You start thinking in your head already, all right, what am I going to say back? I'm going to say this and this because this is stupid and this is stupid. And if you the second you catch yourself, you have to be aware of it. It's going to happen. Cut that shit out. Go back into that laser beam focus on what they're saying. Even if you think it's bullshit, you need to laser beam focus on it so you don't miss anything. Cut those thoughts in your head that you're going through and stirring about what you're going to say next. Cut it off and refocus on them, their words, their body language, 
and just let them really actually be heard that you're a fucking leader. Okay. This is what you need to do. You're not there to argue. You are there for a solution, for a resolution, for an outcome. That's what you're there for, for a, a common agreement. Whether or not someone agrees with you or not, you're there to let it be known and come up with a resolution. And after you listen to them, of course, you're going to listen to them, but then you're going to help them understand your side and your reasoning about why you had to have this conversation or why it has to be a certain way. Make sure they understand it. And the way you're going to do that is by speaking with clear, concise, simple freaking terms, direct, no assumptions, no hints or codes or beating around the fucking bush or any of that stuff. Professionally, empathetically, not condescending, not talking down to them or anything like that, being compassionate if needed, understanding when needed, but being clear, simple terms about what you're talking about. Don't insinuate stuff or just assume they know what you mean. Like straightforward, that's why this is called a tough conversation. You need to be straightforward about stuff sometimes. And there's many cases you can think of where this, this needs to be. Because there needs to be progress in this conversation. Even if, all right, they give, tell you what they think, you tell them, let them understand you. And if they, either there's still different disagreement, there needs to be progress in the conversation. You can't just go back and forth bullshitting all day. Thank them for coming in. You're glad they came in. You're glad you got a chance to discuss it. Thank them for meeting with you. You think you're a step closer to a resolution. You're going to try and get that. You need to keep it moving forward. It has to be progress. You can't just be stagnant, sitting still. Let them know you're still invested in them and interested in helping them, interested in resolving this problem or tough situation, whatever it is. And you're still interested in their personal development, helping them grow and helping them take it to the next level. And after all that, give them back the floor again. What are your thoughts on that? And see if they're going to progress it forward or see it's going to give you a good read on what their attitude is if they really are as big of a problem maybe as you think or whatever the situation. This could be a, a various freaking situations, obviously. After the meeting, follow up. Check in with them regularly. Schedule an actual follow-up meeting a week later, two weeks later, a month later, a quarter later, whatever it is that you need, depending on the situation, obviously. Schedule an actual follow-up meeting. And during the whole entire time, no matter what you think about what they're telling you, take the freaking high road. Don't be abrasive. Don't be argumentative or defensive or any of that stuff. Remain open-minded. Listen. Soak in what they're telling you. Soak in what they're not telling you. Soak in their body language. And take take the freaking high road. You're not there to freaking argue. So don't turn it into an argument. And at the end, make an agreement between two adults. It comes down to it. It's so simple. An agreement between two adults. You can give... Make an agreement that we talked about recently. Don't take, not taking things personal. Make an agreement between two adults. Give them reminders as often as needed about whatever this situation is. After this, let them know. You're not going to ask them, can I remind you about this? You're going to let them know. I'm glad we had this discussion and we put this out there. I know sometimes I forget things myself. So I'll just give you a friendly reminder whenever you need it about this and this, if this isn't gets done and making sure we don't take it personal, right? A reminder, as often as needed. We all need to be reminded. I need to be reminded about shit all the time. You know, sometimes you're working on some higher level shit. There's some things down there that I personally need to take care of for some reason, but I don't get to it because I'm busy up here in that 5%, right? There might be something, whatever, I needed to contact someone, whatever, and I keep forgetting. Or a, a video that I said I was going to make for our clients that I never did, and it just kept slipping something, and someone keeps reminding me. I need to be reminded about that, that shit, you know, maybe that lower level shit that I, I don't do on a regular basis. You have to be reminded. The good thing about these tough conversations, often these tough conversations are, are actually going to be the turning point to strengthen your relationship with that person. Or it might be the turning point where you realize it's time to part ways with them. That's fine too. But either way, it's needed. You have to have those tough conversations. And let's go into them with that mindset. Like this tough conversation is going to be awesome. It's going to be positive and it's going to actually strengthen my relationship with this person. Don't go in there thinking about the negative side and they're just going to be gone after this. It could happen, but we're going to go in there looking for progress, right? Looking for an outcome, looking to resolve this problem. So go into it with, with that as your, one of your primary outcomes to, to solidify and Build and strengthen your relationship with that person. One of, that should be one of your primary outcomes that you're looking for in these tough conversations. Of course, in addition to the initial result that you need. So don't be a little bitch. Go have these tough conversations with whoever. And this is personal life, business life, whatever. Your, your, your partners, your management, your staff, people in real life, your pet goat, whoever you need to have a fucking tough conversation with, go and have it. Don't be a little bitch. I will talk to you later. This is the Mentorship 
motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.